It's Anne Marie. Hey, I'm back again today with my next design team project for Country Craft Creations. Um, I made this super cute six and a half by six and a half inch mini album using my mind's eye Winterberry collection. Um, I did not get, oops, where is it? Where is it? There it is. <laughs> I did not get, um, the call sheet or the cover sheet with the collection. I just got the um, the pages. So I'll go real quickly through what I have left. Um, I foolishly used it all and cut it all up before I did my video. But this one, look at this page. Is it not gorgeous with the chapel or the little church and the houses and the Christmas trees? A little red deer, just super, super cute. And there's a pretty red plaid on the back of that one. This one has a candy cane stripe. And then this is a text, you know, it says Mary, love, joy, Noel, peace, joy. Uh, yeah, x -mas. So that's the other side. And then I have the second sheet of this. <clears throat> then I have this one that's a... Uh, Black and gray and white buffalo check, which I love buffalo check. And then this one I absolutely loved. It's like a grayish green background. Um, and it's got the white poinsettias and the green leaves and some, I, those are pine cones. Um, yeah, so those are the only pages that I have left. Um, and then you will see the rest of them in my album. But I also received the six of these... Um, the authentic spectrum papers, I believe these are. Yes, the spectrum papers um, in each of these three colors. One side has polka dots and the other side has stripes. So these colors, these papers could not have been more perfect to go with the paper collection. I also received in my kit um, the Winterberry um, chipboards. Actually, these are chipboard stickers. Yeah, so I didn't use them all, but I used a good bit of them. And then I also had, oh, also in the kit, sorry, were the enamel dots. Love these things. I also got a cream, green, a burgundy, and like a steely gray um, seam binding ribbon. And then I had the, the winterberry, I had the... Um, what are these things called? Brads, the decorative brads. Um, so I use four of the bigger ones with the enamel on them and I uh, use three of the smaller ones. So I still have quite a few left. And then I also got the, um, the die cuts. Uh, yeah, you can see it's, it's all sorts of really cute. There's a deer you'll see in the album. I love this door. I meant to use that door and then I forgot. I guess I could always go back and add it. So that's what I received in my kit. Oh no, and then I also had the um, the Winterberry journaling cards, the three by four journaling cards. And you can see I only have like three of them left. So this little album is holding a lot. So I'll walk you through really quickly. So this is just a basic six and a half by six and a half album. It's got a three, is that a three inch spine? Let me see. Yep, it's got a three inch spine. So there's the back. I tend to keep the backs pretty clean because they take up, a, they take a lot of abuse laying on the table and being moved around and things. So I don't like to put anything on there that's gonna get broken or torn. Um, and on the front, I used one of the three by four cards and you can, that's a good shot of the glitter. I had some glitter card stock in my stash. Um, I used some of these pearl spray um, you can see I have some sequins there. I have never been a fan of sequins. I don't know why, because now I can't stop using it. <laughs> so somebody said help. I, I keep sequencing everything. Um, so these are supposed to be little holly berries. I replaced them with some sequins. You can see some sequins all around the, you know, um, but yeah, it's just something that just gives that extra little glitter. It's just pretty. Um, and then right here are three of those enamel dots. And here's a few of the green ones. And this is a poinsettia that I've had for, I have like a, 
when you buy silk flowers, you get like 10 flowers on a sprig or whatever. And I've just been slowly using them up, them up and I think I only have one left. But look at the sparkle that gives. And I just put a little styrofoam ball in the middle. Um, and then I had some Christmassy ribbon and a little charm. And I thought that finished it off pretty cute. So there's the view from the top. There are five pages in this album. There's the side view. Okay, so if we open it up, we start here in the inside front cover. Here's that die cut deer. This is how pretty he is. And this is one of the chipboard stickers. It says Joy. Then here's a couple of the three by four cut apart. Actually, this is not, I made this one myself out of some cardstock. Um, these two pieces here were in the die cuts. I had this leftover glitter paper that I just, you know, tore into a little little landscaping. It looks like the house is sitting in snow. Um, and just added, that's one of the, oh, that's an enamel dot and some of the seam binding. And here's another one of the three by four cards you can see on the back. And another enamel dot and that is a pocket. So that just slides right inside there. This is page one. Here's a die cut. Um, let me see. So I left this unglued so you could slide a photo behind it. You can see some of my sequins right there. I'm telling you, I'm going crazy with the sequins. <laughs> and then, oh, this here is uh, Martha Stewart Edge Punch. I think it's called Al Alpine Snowflakes or maybe just Alpine Snow. I can't remember exactly what it is. Uh, but this is another piece of the gorgeous pattern paper. Um, and then right here, I put two tag pockets. It holds two, I just created two quick tags. They just slide in there and then there's two of the uh, chipboard, die, chipboard stickers. And I have a magnet holding that closed. And then inside each page, like I said, there are five total pages. Each one of the pages has a uh, large tag so that measures five and three quarters by five and three quarters. And I just, like I said, created a, a large tag. Um, this is the die cut of the little church and the happy holidays. And again, that just slides right inside there. And it just stores right there. You could put you could put a large photo on. You can journal on it. So here is page two, and I. This is just, you know, a little, little take on a waterfall. Um, there are four waterfall pages. I made them into little pockets. Very, very simple. Um, I just glued right up along here, turned that into a pocket. The, this is one of the um, three by four cards that I, it, this one was a horizontal one that I cut down to fit inside the pocket. You can see here, I went crazy with the, with the clear and the red sequins again. It just gives it such a pop. I don't know what I waited for. This is also one of the die cuts. And I left the black, the back, sorry, of each page blank so that uh, you could either journal or put another photo. This one, three by four card that says all the stockings were hung by the chimney with care. Just backed on some basic black card stock. This one. The two cute deer. And then this is one of the chipboards and some of that ribbon. And this last one is another one of the horizontal cards. And then there's the back. And then here, this is another one of the die cuts. And then I just took another little die cut and made it into a flag and just added to a piece of cardstock for a photo or journaling. Um, I considered doing a typical waterfall closure here, but these are heavy enough that they, um, you know, after all the, the heavy cardstock and, you know, the pattern paper, it hold, it weighs it down so it doesn't flop all over the place. And then here are three more of the, the cut aparts. Okay, and then I just put all three of those, put some enamel dots and some seam binding on it, and they just hang out right there. So this page, 
there's a super, super cute water globe here. And then I just added some sparkly ribbon and some Wink of Stella and popped it up on um, some foam dots. And then you could actually add a photo underneath if you wanted to, or, you <clears throat> excuse me, on a photo mat, sorry, or you could just put the photo right there. There's the inside. It says, have yourself a merry little Christmas. And then I just love the simplicity of these trees. They're like little skeleton trees. <laughs> and then here, this says Christmas morning. And then this is one of the die cuts, and I just put it on a brad. Oh, and this cardstock, the black cardstock, the cream, and the red, they are all the, um, the authentic. Oh, what is it called? The authentic linen cardstock. The best cardstock ever, in my humble opinion. And then here's that black and white buffalo check and another chipboard sticker says Mary and Bright. Check out that gorgeous green plaid and an I believe die cut. Here are three more of the three by four cards. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Let it snow and Mary and Bright. And you can see these are those enameled, those enamel brads. And this is actually, this is one of the brads from that pack, but this is, I think this is like a heavy cardstock. Um, but I loved that one. Isn't that just so pretty? Love it, love it, love it. And again, they stay right here in this pocket. This also is a pocket. Up here, I just said, I just neglected to put anything in it. So this part right here is a top loading pocket. Here is the cardstock tag. Twas the night before Christmas. And that just slides right in its little house. Then back here, or sorry, next page. Um, guess what? <laughs> Some more sequins. So this is a belly band. There's that gorgeous, this this piece I took from the 6x6. Six six. I also had that page, that by the way. Um, I had the 6x6 six six in my own stash. Um, so I decided to use it along with the, um, the bigger prints. So look at that. Isn't that just gorgeous? And I took my Wink of Stella. I don't know if you can see that up. See it on there? On the little stars. And I did the windows. I should do the doors. Um, but this is another, this is another one of the die cuts. It's this gorgeous green snowflake. And then this one is the enamel brad. It, it couldn't, it's just all fits together so perfectly. It couldn't be more perfect. So then that just slides down there. Like I said, this is a belly band, but it's a drop down belly band. And then a couple more of the die cuts. You could put a couple photos there or you could journal. And then a magnet holds it shut. So over here is very simple. It's just a little corner pocket um, with some ribbon that I had laying around. These, I don't know if you could see it, but these chipboard letters were on the chipboard sticker sheet. I had to add a couple sequins to bling it up a little. <laughs> and then here is how simple, but how cute is that? I just, I absolutely love it. And then I made a little booklet here out of some more of the, um, the three by four journaling cards. Just cute, there's that one, December 25. And then this is one of the journaling cards. I thought it would be cute to journal, we'll put two photos there. And then there's the back. Adorable, I think. All right, and inside there is another one of the humongous die cuts which lives right here. And then over here, look how pretty, the pretty, 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 pretty color of, actually, I don't, I don't want to open that. <laughs> it's just such a perfect bow. Um, but here is the lighter version of that prior page where everything was black. This is all gray and it's pretty much the same. And then this is, all this is is just a little, booklet that folds out and it's blank on the inside. Over here I did sort of a gatefold um, that has a little buckle. Check out that. Isn't that gorgeous? 
the paper. It's just absolutely gorgeous. And then there's the inside. You can put some, probably two photos. You could do four smaller photos and two photos over here, or you could journal over here. Then that just slides right back in. And then there's, I don't know, is that a poinsettia? I guess that's a poinsettia. I don't know. And there's some holly, I guess, and some berries. That slides right back in there. Over here, there's that same background. Um, this is another one of the gorgeous pattern papers. It says Merry Christmas all over it. And another die cut. It says Christmas Eve. I could see taking a photo of maybe everybody having dinner on Christmas Eve and putting it right there. That would be so cool. Then over here, there are three little pockets. So there's three pockets there. Um, I just absolutely love that. There's those wreaths, some green plaid, the snowflakes, and then the skeleton trees. And then this is just a, a piece of the um, black plaid paper. And this is one of the die cuts and some ribbon that I had. Um, and then here are three more. Look at that little bird. How cute he is. Another enamel brad. Another one, here's the third one, and I forget, I think I had these in this order. And then this one goes in the middle. And then that's the last large mat. Probably one of my favorite pages. This is a humongous wreath. So this is six by six right here. So this is one entire six by six page. Um, and then there's a whole bunch of sequins there where the holly is. Just makes a big impact. And then there's one of the die cuts that says Christmas that I um, popped up on some dots, foam dots. And the very last page, it just says Merry Christmas. And that's the back. So that's my little album. Yeah, so hope you like it. Um, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Um, I am actually going to put together the tutorial. I'm in the process of putting together the tutorial um, on just the pages um, because you can actually make these any size uh, to fit any size book. Um, so yeah, so thanks for watching and um, I will be back shortly with the tutorial. Thanks. Bye.